Hi, I'm Doug here at Global West, and I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about 64 through 72 A bodies, which have to be Chevelles, GTOs, Oldsmobile 442s, Buick GS. There's a lot. And what we're going to talk about today is bump steer and how to correct it. I have steering knuckle arms that are sitting on the table. Now a steering knuckle arm is in your steering system and it bolts to the back side of your spindle like so and your steering linkage comes off of it. What bump steer is is when you're driving the vehicle and let's say the passenger side goes goes over a bump and you find that the, the vehicle itself veers one way or another and you got to stabilize it a little bit but but it's but it actually drives itself. That's what bump steer is. That's where the term bump steer comes from. And what it is is dissimilar angles between the suspension and the steering linkage. 64 to 72 s all have this problem. There's several magazine articles that have also documented how much bump steer there actually is. And it's well over an eighth of an inch per tire. So with that tire moving this way and the other side not doing that, the car will actually veer one way or another, depending on which way the bump pushes it. Okay. Steering knuckle arms set the height of the tie rod end. And by changing the height of the tie rod end, I've seen, you've seen bump steer kits out there where you've got a rod end on the end and you can adjust. Well, we've gone ahead and designed a setup. Steering lockers, these are forged, that you bolt on to your application and you get rid of the bump steer. Factory tie rod ends go directly in. It's a simple setup easy bolt on and what we want to do is take a minute we happen to have a drag car in back we're going to show you before and after we put these on what the big difference is in tow now why are we so concerned about that especially if you got a drag car when you launch that vehicle and the tires come up off the ground the tow changes when the car comes back down depending on how radical that change is it can force the car right or left but the other thing it also induces is scrub so it's slowing you down. With these units here, we eliminate that condition and you're going to be faster. This will work for drag, street, road race. It solves a lot of issues as an easy bolt on. Let's go in the back and we're going to show you how it works on this drag car. We're at the back of the shop right now and we've already taken the springs out of the vehicle because so, when you do bump steer you have to raise and lower the car. And we do it for four inches, two up, two down from ride height. At right height, you'll notice we've got double zeros on the bottom right hand of your screen. That's what the toe is on the driver's side, and the .01 is on the passenger side. They're strictly reference numbers, and we measure that as we move the vehicle up and down. So we write that down, and we see how much toe change there's going to be. So let's move the vehicle. As you can see, we're raising it right now, like for a drag race application, and we've raised it up two inches. Notice how much the toe has changed. We went from double zero to 0 0.29. That's 290 thousandths. That's well over a quarter of an inch of change. And the passenger side did change a quarter of an inch. Now we're going to start lowering the vehicle down. You can see how those numbers are changing again. And now we're going to go below ride height. So we're going two inches the other way. And see again, notice how the numbers are changing. So as you can see in this particular application for four inches of travel two up and two down we're looking well over a quarter of an inch per side of change in fact you're almost closer to a half inch now installation is really simple what you're going to do is pop the steering knuckle arms off put the new steering knuckle arm on bolt everything back together and now we're going to reject toe again set up References, 0 0.01 minus 0 0.02, and you notice the vehicle moving up. That's in full droop. That's two inches up above ride height. That's like a drag race application. Now we're going to start lowering it down, and you notice the numbers, how they do not change. Nothing is changing. And remember, these are references. That's all they are. We just need a reference of how much movement the toe is changing. And if you'll notice, we're talking ten thousandths from one side to the other versus almost a half an inch for the same distance. That's how much we're fixing that bump steer. In a drag application, it's huge in reference to the amount of scrub that you will not have.
Okay, now you've got a good idea on how these steering knuckle arms perform. You notice how much bump steer change there is? It's huge. The nice thing about this is if you're running our tubular control arms that have four to six degrees, this is a perfect package. In fact, if you're running somebody else's tubular arms and they're claiming five to six degrees and that's where your car is set, and you're running the standard spindle, these steering knuckle arms are gonna help you. You're gonna get the same results as what you just seen. So let's get into the part numbers. With bolts, SS6472GSKB. One other thing, to get the legitimate steering knuckle arms, it'll say Global West, it's forged in here, and it'll have our part numbers for right and left. Make sure that if you're looking for a true bump steer steering knuckle arm, that's what you just seen, that that's engraved in there and you'll know you have the right stuff. All right, if you got any questions, give us a call, check us out on the website, 